Yeah, hello, my name is Joe Larice, and I'm a wood turner. So I thought um, you may be interested in my shop. This is the bandsaw. That's a cabinet I built, surprisingly, with a lot of drawers and a couple of doors, but no knobs. I haven't had a chance yet. I, that's like three years ago I built that. Um, this is the light boom. I was a photographer in another life, and I use that to mount my camera to bring you those videos. And uh, grinder station. And you'll see those um, reflective panels. That's how I keep this shop warm. And um, I have to say, it works great because it's a pretty large shop. And uh, this is my high-tech door to get into the rest of the shop if I need to. That's pretty ugly in there. And um, oh yeah, these are my... Some of my tools, and you're probably familiar with some of this stuff here. It's what I've been doing while I hold up here in the winter, although it's been a mild winter. Some of the items I made in these videos that are primarily spindle turning, but I'm going to eventually move over to some uh, face grain projects. And that's the heater that keeps this place warm. I have nine foot ceilings. I'm blessed with those. This is the garage I built about 20 years ago, and this is the entryway into the garage. Anyhow, this is the one-way lathe that I have. My high-tech fine dust removal system, which is a box fan, and a simple furnace filter on this side. So, I thought maybe you might want to see the setup. I know you've seen this plenty of times. All right. I'm going to be taking this down soon. It's now um, the middle of April, so uh, it's going to be time to maybe even start moving some stuff outside. So I'm in the process converting these maple logs. I have a few of them here in the trailer that I'm now gonna go ahead and prep some more. Unfortunately, this uh, sugar maple has some nice figure actually. Looks like some ambrosia in there. Yeah, they die. So I have quite a lot of work to do. I better seal coat and then tarp these. Uh, but I'll get to them a little later this afternoon. And I think I'll have the opportunity to show you how I mount a square block and then use the chainsaw to turn these uh, round or at least octagon shape for mounting on the lathe. So uh, I think it's a good way to do it because it avoids the chain uh, moving the piece around. So I made up this block. It's just two pieces of three quarter inch plywood. And I made the dimensions so that it will fit in this electrical, square electrical box. I just mounted to the flat part of the blank I just cut. I then put this section upside down into the receptacle box. So the way it's mounted, it prevents the blank from spinning from the action of the chainsaw and I'm confident and safe that I could knock off those corners on that blank. Yeah, so I managed to get 14 blanks out of that tree. Now I'm just going to put some sealer on the end grains. I orient them after I cut them to that octagon shape so that the, uh, the, all the end grains expose on both sides of that bench. So now what I'll do is just mop on some sealer and then I'll tarp it and then uh, start turning.